Okay, my dear students, today I would like to discuss a previous year problem given in NEET. Is there any shortcut formula to solve this problem? Yes, you can save a lot of time. If you want, if any student can solve this problem in just one or two minutes, I will tell you a shortcut method with which you can solve the problem in just 10 to 15 seconds. That's it, not more than that. But first, let me create a shortcut formula here. You know that according to the problem given here, a concave mirror is considered uh, and the focal length of the concave mirror, this is the focal point and focal length is given as minus 15 centimeters from the problem given here. Object is placed at this place, uh, which, is a, which is at a distance of uh, minus 40 centimeters, okay. Uh, this is taken as pole, as everything is coming at the left side, the left side of the pole is taken as negative according to the sign conventions. So I have taken minus 15 and minus 40 centimeters. So uh, the problem says that when you shift the object towards right from here to here, how much the image is shifted. For example, image is here, it may be shifted in this direction. If this is the image which is forming here, it will be shifted a little bit left side. So how do you find the formula for this type of problems? Uh, I'll give a shortcut formula. So first of all, you'll write the basic formula of a mirror that is 1 by f is equal to 1 by v plus 1 by u. So anyhow, f is negative, I will take f as negative that is minus f, so 1 by v and uh, u is also negative, I will take it as minus u and I have to find out what is v first of all. So 1 by v, I will shift this here, so I will write it as uh, plus 1 by u minus 1 by f, so 1 by v is equal to u f you will take and you will take f minus u and uh, you will get a formula for v as u f by f minus u or f u by f minus u. You can write f u by f minus u for easy remembrance, f u by f minus u. And this is for the first case. This is the image distance for the first case, but when the object is shifted from here to here, then the second uh, image distance will become the same formula. If here, this distance is taken as u1, you have to keep here this as u1. But in the second case, as the distance of the object has been changed, then object distance will also be changed to u2 here, okay? This was u1, this was u1. Now object is shifted, object distance, if you take it as u2, focal length is not going to change here, okay? So now, v2, similarly, if you derive for v2, you will get the formula as here f u1 by f minus u1 you will get, but here you will get f u2 by f minus u2. Okay, so and you have to find out that shift of image. So shift of image means you will consider change in the displacements of these final images. So first of all, if you consider uh, this distance uh, that is v1 minus v2. So delta v is equal to what is v1 here? f into u1 by f minus u1 minus of f into u2 by f minus u2. So this is the shift of the uh, image from here to here. I am finding delta v here, whereas this is taken as delta u. Change in the displacement of the object gives you change in the displacement of the image. So this is a shortcut formula to solve this type of problem. No need of all these derivations and no need of doing such a long process. You can use this shortcut formula prepared by me. Directly will get the answer. Change in the shift in the image is considered as uh, 15 into u1. It is taken as 15 into u1 is taken as 40 by okay uh, you will consider this as 15 minus 40 uh, minus of 15 into 20 because you will shift uh, uh, 20 centimeters uh, towards this side uh, that means remaining is re remaining is 20 centimeters because totally 40 it is so 20 if you shift the object distance uh, after shifting will be remaining 20 so you can write 15 into 20 by uh, 15 minus 20 so like this, you'll be getting 15, 4, 60, 600 you'll get. And this is going to be uh, minus uh, 25, yes. Minus 25, minus of 15 into 20 is 15 to the 30. I mean, that is 300 divided by minus 5 you are getting. So you want to make the denominator same here. You just multiply denominator numerator with 5 so that denominators will be same and calculations will become easier now. So you'll write 600 here, divided by 25, minus 5, 5 is at 25 here, so 25 will become, and what are we going to get now here, this is minus, 
and uh, minus of minus will become plus here. Uh, 5 5 are 25, 5 3 is 15. So you'll be getting 1500 divided by 25. So you'll be getting the answer as uh, 1500 minus 600 divided by 25. So your answer is going to become how much? 900 by 25. So 36 centimeters will get directly. We substitute the formula and get the answer like this instead of doing the very very large process given in the books. Hope you have liked this. If you want the shortcuts of this type please subscribe to my channel and tell me in which chapter I have to prepare the shortcuts. Thank you.